I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. My dick hurts. I'm gonna be sick. Well, boy, it's 10.01 p.m. This party's a little loud and it smells like a fucking corpse in here. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, it's happening really fast. Though. Yeah, I can teeth throated myself looking at a furry. You know, a real normal Tuesday morning. Just an hour and a half of running with the devil. Just an hour and a half of sitting there running with the devil. Just an hour and a half of the uh, guitar solo from Eruption. Just an hour. And you're and like, half. wow, this is longer than I remember. Just an hour and a half of the drum intro from Hot for Teacher. Just <laughs> that shit is. <laughs> people forget about that. <laughs> Has anyone ever? Uh, <laughs> we should sync up the drums from Hot for Teacher and the guitar from solo Eruption. from Eruption. With and the, then it with brings the, back with the synths from Jump. <laughs> Talk about a babe magnet, <laughs> ladies. With the with the bass line and ending guitar solo from Drop Dead Legs. I don't know. Now I feel like we're... we're Drop Because I feel like it's legs. just... A... <laughs> she knows how to use them. It becomes like an ultimate dad rock mashup. Yeah, and then we throw in the guitar riff from Sharp Dressed Man by ZZ Top. And then we throw this in the piano riff from... <laughs> Uh, uh, Werewolves of London by Warren Zevin. Do 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 do. You look outside and dance just start do, do, do. flocking to your lawn. You're like, oh, I'll just and hanging then out in khaki so shorts. So many dads. There's ten thousand dads, and you're like, oh, then there's a I bunch of confused people that show up here in the Warren Zevin piano line, thinking it's the Kid Rock song. It's just a bunch yeah. of white trash bulls. <laughs> And they're like, we will drink you, baby. Like, not out. you. Not you. <laughs> not you. It's You're not even a song. fucking dad <laughs> that I know of. Get off my property, you piece of but shit. But I'm about to be in a grab I'm about to spot. be just grab some nasty looking girl wearing nothing but a cami and some lowrider jeans. Yeah, folks. And you're like, you people deserve each other. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 170. One Number three out of ten. We're, we're dwindling This down. is the beginning of the end, some would say. Yeah, I mean, I think it's already begun uh, two and a half years ago. Yeah. I'd say it was when it... Some would say we were born to die. Began uh, a downward uh, trajectory for me, unfortunately. But we're still here for some reason. Gluttons for punishment. Still here, still doing it. Go to www.patreon.com slash dapper dads. We started with that because it's great. We just made one only that we feel good so about. only get so much longer. Yeah, there's only a little bit longer. I wish I had more of the details, uh, but it will be gone in January as well. That's right, folks. If you're jumping in on episode 170 because you're an absolute fucking monster, uh, we've decided that this is ending. So now you're like, you know what? We're going to move backwards. We're going to start with yeah, 170 and work our way down. And you know that we have so much cotton. Do things in a real confusing order. I will say that if you listen to every episode in a reverse order backwards, there is a hidden message for you, the we've fans. We've said it for years. For you, the people. Um, but yeah, this is almost over. We got seven more episodes, but get in the Patreon and we're going to try to figure out a way to, uh, we're for sure going to make sure that people who are Patreon subscribers still have access to it, uh, after January, but there won't be new episodes and you won't be charged. We're also trying to figure out a way for new people to get the, get it after January when it finally hits that there's not new episodes of this. We might. And you're like, we might be ending it, but we still care about you. We want you guys to have it for a little bit. Yeah. He doesn't. I do. I care about you. Um, I wish I could, but unfortunately, personally, I have to detach uh, so that I can grieve and that's fine. We all, God works in mysterious ways, folks. Grieving forever. I get so much better after this ends. Like I'm like really. And I get worse. Yeah. You're like, you get way, way worse. Like I'm like, hey, uh, Slim, do you think we could, uh. You know how I call you Slim. That's yeah, how you know just, immediately. Yeah, that's how you know immediately that something's I'm wrong. Like, do you think you, we could just, for old times' sake, maybe get the band back together? And by the band, I mean uh, my computer I mean, like, and I'm, these two microphones and, and this stuff. And, and, and like you see it in my face dust. as you're describing it to me. I'm getting more and yeah, more like, yeah, I'm, you can it. see I'm going to tell you no, but I'm just like. You're like, buddy, uh, it's just, it's, it's, like, you know, life gets like, in the way. I got a lot going on. I mean, I got a lot going I'm on. I'm like, I know you don't for a fact. You're, you're, like, you're, ah, still, yeah, you're still laid up from that pelvis. You've just been sitting there on the couch for. Yeah, you can't, mm-hmm. you're always tweeting. You wish you had more things to do. Maybe something with one other person. person that, like you would love a to have an outlet. Like you would love to have someone over to like talk to. Yeah, talk to. And maybe you'd like the ability to listen to it back. 
back. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I can see where like you might like misinterpret all of that as like me that's wanting like one to of the, do. That's an early morning tweet. Like, where you're yeah, like, that's one of those things that where it's like you, you know up. I should have deleted it, but I didn't. Said some things. You know, yeah, you know, I'm throwing throwing some real horny shit out on the timeline. Yeah, I shouldn't be big horny. I'm like, oh, let me put my dick on the timeline. Oh, I wish I had something an outlet where I could talk to another person. I clicked on a a picture link on Twitter last night. Uh, when I was drinking, dong. <laughs> and it was a dick, a man's dick in the mirror, hanging dong for Biden. Hmm. And I was like, I hate that I'm actually around people if, for once. I think that's my buddy from Texas. Dick, is it? Yeah. I only, I only. Did I, he have a beard? I don't know. I like one of those where I like opened it and then I was like, fuck, because I'm in public. Did he post a picture of a girl's butt with it? I don't think so. It was just a man standing naked in the mirror. Huh. So that's what opened on my phone. I say everybody, around people. I don't know. I don't know what you've been doing, but everybody's hanging dong for Biden. I was hanging it privately, like an adult. I mean, yeah, I, I did immediately we're search all privately. if Biden wins on Twitter and clicked on all the pictures. That's not how I saw the penis, though. Yeah, but yeah, there's so many. It's so perfect because it's just like if Biden wins, I'll post nudes, I'll post my ass, I'll post my tits, and I'm just like. This is great. I'm having a great day. I am happy <laughs> that great. he's the president. This is why you're in I've such a good boobs. This is why you're in such a good mood today because yeah, you got to see all boobs. the boobs. Have you tried this? Have you tried you just go on looking the internet? Guys, not even a guys, porn site guys. or anything. A social media network, just one of them. Just not one the other of them. Two. Yeah, you can't go on. Facebook. I mean, I saw a nipple on Instagram the other day, and we'll get into it because I got to tell you something. I just don't know how to break it to you, so I'm going to push it off. Folks, go to <laughs> www.thedapperdads.com. All the shit's there. Get it has hardwired been, in. It hasn't been updated. Get on uh, the horn. Yeah, get a QR code of it tattooed on the back of your neck. Get Otherwise, Q- don't tell me you were were a fan. Yeah, are a fan, I don't anything. even want you people until coming get, up to me. Until I get a permanent thing on someone's body that I can scan with my phone, which seems like such a cool idea, yeah. but then it's just like it kind of fell off, and now it's like kind of corny to do it. Well, to me, it's I mean? like yeah, because it's like okay, what do you, can you can you imagine? Someone comes up to us and like a, so like a year from now, let's scan say my arm. Like, yeah, let's say like I'd a year, not. year and a half from now. We're in, I, picture this. I'm Chicago. pushing your wheelchair. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm on and, fire. Until you prove me different, I think this is how you are now. We're in Chicago. Okay. Doubt at, it. At Richards for oh, a concert. Even... <laughs> a Pew show. At Richards? No word. Okay, I was Can like, you the imagine? world is different now. And <laughs> this might be when you're like, I like drinking and having sex, but I don't like chugging a beer while I'm having sex. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean nobody things. likes chugging a beer while they're having sex, but sometimes you got to do it just to perform, you know? No, I have to put my dick in the beer. I got to put my dick in the woman shot. who is filled with beer. That's not a bad idea. Fill her up with beer. Put your dick in it. I bet it. Yeah. Profit? Question mark? No. So picture this. Unless you mean like profit in the sense of like someone who knows yeah. what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. I'm a prophet of beer pussy. Um, <laughs> as we all are. As, as, as one, one should to strive be. to be because they say beer pussy. Uh, the beer pussy, the closest to beer pussiness is godliness, right? I think it's something like that. Yeah. Boy, I, like I can't that. wait to do a keg stand on that woman. <laughs> can't wait to do a keg stand with that woman. Can't wait to make a keg stand of that woman. Oh, you can't roll her up the driveway. You're supposed to carry it. Now she's all shook up and going to be falling. I'm going to make that keg stand my wife. Yeah. Uh, I think that keg stand is lucky. What do you call the skin around the vagina? A keg stand. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think yeah, so. I don't think that's how that I joke goes. I don't, we don't fact check, but. Picture this. I don't Chicago, know if I can have that out in the world. Chicago, Richards, concert, the boys, we're back. It's good. We've been smoking cigarettes outside. We've been going back. No, we've been inside. We're Richard smoking cigarettes inside and drinking. Say, we're having such a good time that we have to go outside. Of we, Richard's they're, just they're giving us drink unwind. tickets. I've eaten an egg from the jar because I've said fuck it. Now I, everything changes. Everything changes after I've and eaten the goes, egg. Ooh. Yeah, and then everything just goes. You're puking all over your wheelchair. <laughs> oh, God. Just like that. Guys, I think the egg did something. <laughs> and everybody's like, help, my Vietnam veteran buddy's puking on himself from a bad Richard's egg. <laughs> and I'm like, V goddamn no, nah, man, the contra. He's having a flashback because he only ate eggs when he went to He's war. He's having a flashback he never saw because when he, he was a POW, eggs. they only made him eat eggs. Pickled eggs, one pickled egg a day. One pickled egg a day, and, and he had to get by on a... He, he only got by on a single pickled egg a day in a soup made from rice and four different types of prawns. 
They can't even recreate it over here in the States. They don't have the right spices. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he sits up I at night screaming. I thought you said soup? Yeah, I did. And then I was like... Or I meant soup. I thought you said soup. And then I was like... Oh, yeah, this soup's reminds... made out of rice and four different That's kinds what of prawns. And I thought you were just saying a crazy thing. And I was yeah, like, this the... is a reference in my head, but it's slightly different. And then the rats... Yeah, the rats came at night and they ate my soup made out of prawns. So I could not. So I had to subside off of a single pickled egg every day. That happened. While I was in Viet Goddamn Nam. What? Hold on. Call for a call or text 4027 Dapper. That's 4027 Uh Get it in. Get your fucking submissions in. We're going to keep saying it. You guys are going to not keep doing it. And then we're going to be gone. And you're going to be like, wait, I wanted to know this thing about your dick. Then uh, email Dapper Dads Podcast at gmail.com. You're going to have to find out where old drama is pushing slim around in real life. Yeah. And it's and ask dick questions uh, then, and then we're going to be really rude about it because we're not on a show where we have to be nice to you. Yeah, I'm going to be like, get away from us. I'm trying to push him down a hill. And you're like, what? And then I get you. And I'm like, get away from me. We're trying to push me down a hill. <laughs> like, He's always up for it. Uh, go to Twitter, at Dapper Dads. Follow us. Um, we'll tweet at least once a week. That's a promise. Maybe. Unless I forget. Uh, go to Instagram, at Dapper Dads Podcast, where I... We'll forget to post. It's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing in Instagram. Too many Instagram accounts on my phone. Same Instagram. Seven of, them, seven of them are Finstas. All Finstas, baby, because I got to get Finstas for my Finstas. Because people, yeah. I got people following my other Finstas that I don't want seeing me post stuff from the other Finstas. Exactly. But we're in Chicago. All the things he said. What is, I don't the, even know where we're going. All the things we said. Guy comes up to us. He's like, hate it. <laughs> hate it immediately. A guy comes up and he's like, Dapper Dads? And we're like, nope. Uh, Hardly know her. And then that gives it away. And yeah. Like, yeah. We're like, nope. Of course. We're like, the guy's like, Dapper Dads. And we're like, nope. Never knew that aesthetic. And we're like, oh, fuck. I don't want to harp on it, but I don't know that I'm, full government name. I'm wearing a shirt that says, who the fuck are the Dapper Dads? I'm wearing a shirt that says, the Dapper Dads are a former podcast between me and the guy next to me. Wow. With an arrow pointing at me that you have to. Yeah, but that's a dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. The, you, yeah. Because you look and you're constantly just moving. You're looking. Oh, fuck. And you got to go stand on the Arrows other side. Arrows at of me. my dick. But I you're think always, you got to put me on your shoulders. You're, oh, you're always on my left side, which makes me very uncomfortable for some reason. We should, I want to make a shirt that is some dumb joke and then points down at my dick. And then when, when people are like, oh, so that's about your dick, be like, no. no. And then every time I have to get on your shoulders and it gets progressively more and more difficult and sketchy. Because the one time we did it, it was terrible. The, and no, that shirt wouldn't have even worked. The that one time we did it, it, was, it, was, it would have worked if we weren't so drunk. I just want to say that. Yeah. Are you okay? okay. I was going to say, we had no. a band kind of stop mid-perform. We had a, at least a singer stop mid-performance and ask if we were okay. And yeah. we, hate to, we hate to drive the point back home. I know we've harped on it before, but if you have to ask if we're okay, we're definitely not okay. Yeah. If you have to ask in that scenario, in that context, like you're not in the crowd. If your band you're... is on stage playing yeah. for 30 people in the rain and you have to go, are you okay? No. No, I'm not. I love later that I thought that was totally okay, and then later I found out it, it was, was such a huge deal, and people it were wasn't like, a huge deal, but it was it. Um, it it was brought to my attention. <laughs> I do a lot of things that are later brought to my attention. And yeah, that, I was concerned that, that the, phrasing always makes me nervous because, like, that's yeah, one of those that's things what you I hear mean, as a kid. Because, like, you know, they tell your parents, "Well, there's something we need to." Uh, it's been brought to my attention that math class. It's been brought to my attention that young drama is what been. Wearing a shirt that says, if you can read this, the bitch fell off with an arrow pointing to his dick. <laughs> it's not to his dick. It's to my friend's shoulders. I don't have any friends. But hypothetically, <laughs> you no, guys told everybody me thinks to it's be more outgoing. Everybody thinks it's for a dick because when I wear it, yes, it looks like it's pointing at my dick. Yeah. But if I'm doing the right it thing in only... the shirt, which is being on my friend's shoulders, yeah. which is actually really hard to do. It's only at the time that I'm not on someone's shoulders that the shirt is explicit. You get on my shoulders again. It shatters my pelvis again. I have to go back to the hospital. They're like, wow. It broke in the exact two same spots. Yeah. Did you have a? You didn't have a, a grown man on your shoulders while you, you didn't were have a. And they just described me to a T, and then they pulled down a chart. That's They're the like the funniest a, thing but, in my head is being anywhere. You and didn't have a, a disgusting, thing. impetent, angry, foul. Wow, I thought it would have started at bone least structure of some sort of missing link. The the sock hop band. Yeah. <laughs> Bone structure. Ding! Bone structure. That goes through the bell, through the table, and stuck into the floor. And you have to pull me out like King Arthur's sword. That was a reference to a band that played elementary school sock hops when I was a child. You had sock hops when you were a child? 
Only when that band played. <laughs> it's a band that's so niche that they change the dance into an like old timey sock hop. Just for the just band. Just for the band, the missing links. And several people's dads were in it. I think my dentist was. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, sure I think the my saxophone. dad was. And I'm like, what? My dad was the drummer, but he didn't have any hands, so it didn't work out. Wow. Did you guys listen to the last one? Don't listen in reverse. Don't listen you won't in get reverse. Those you won't get all the callbacks jokes. callbacks we occasionally do. So this man comes up and he just says that on your. He goes, "You guys are the dapper." He goes, "Dapper dads," and we spend thirty minutes denying it, like Judas yeah. denied Jesus. And Christ. we do like what we just did. Yeah. So he's like, I mean, he's like, "There's no like way a, this is." He's, he's like, "This is like an." Like, yeah, he's like, "This doing? is like an episode. This is great." Don't boot like my podcast, and he's like, "Ah, and I'm like ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there." And so he comes up and he's like, "Check this out." Shows us a tattoo on his forearm of a QR code. Uh, yeah, that's what. Scan it. Was. it takes it to the now defunct Spotify link where it's no longer on Spotify. What do you do? I'll buy him a beer. I guess, yeah. Because, I mean, can you imagine, like, getting I put us? my fin- I quickly put my fingers up against his lips, and I say, you get one. Can you and imagine? he gets to choose what that means. I just want you to imagine us, like, having somebody do that to their body, and then we have to explain to them that, like, it's not going to always be that way <laughs> you know because like the dude's like oh if i want to listen to the dapper dads i can just scan my arm and i got the dapper dad imagine instantly. loving anything that much that's what i'm saying i would like it if just one person loved the show that much like i don't I'm, that's too much responsibility i don't see i how. love the idea of that that same exact scenario I'd happens give that, i'd let that guy buy the hosting rights and he can just pay to have it uploaded yeah, all the he time. can do whatever he wants turns it into a white nationalist podcast immediately and i'm like fuck Shouldn't look out that guy at him. But I told him he gets one, and he gets to choose what one means. I He's like, I- welcome back to the Reform Dapper Dads, where we'll be talking about we'll genocide some, yeah, you're like, ah, and eugenics. And we're like, oh. At least pepper in some dick and ass material. We're like, you can't even we're keep like, the spirit of the original I mean, just, going, you know? It doesn't have to be a lot. You can talk about white dicks. It's like when you have a you have to. It's like when you have a band that you're really into, and then like they replace the singer, but like all the musicians are the same. So you're like, maybe it'll be similar. Yeah. But then everything changes, and like you even listen to it, and it's like, did they like did their producer dump them because he hates them so much? Because yeah. like you find is, out who the real creative director was. Right. Yeah. And then you find out years later the band is just like you know playing bars in their hometown, and they're like, no, 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 we got a new album coming. Don't worry, it's gonna. It pushed our last one pushed four thousand units. Yeah, you find out years later that the band is all full of uh, sexual predators. So you it find out anymore. years later. Yeah, you find out years later that of all course. the bands that you related to as a young man is filled with predators. Yeah, I love the idea that that same exact scenario happens, and the guy comes up and he has the QR code, and it's it does still show up, uh, but he doesn't know that we ended the podcast, uh, and it's a year and a half later. But said. then, what kind of fan is he? <laughs> yeah, but he's like. He knows every episode. Like he can quote every. Like he yeah. knows everything about he just, us. He thought he he keeps referencing. He can't wait for the break we're on to be up, the seasonal break. And yeah, he's like, oh, I can't seasons. wait for the new episodes, guys. And we're seasons? like, and he's like, yeah, man. but he knows everything. He's got the QR code. And he's got every like, shirt, and he's wearing them all at the same yeah, damn time. Because he's homeless in Chicago, and the winters are cold. Winters are cold, and quite frankly, we knew. And all he's like, the only dangers. thing that keeps me alive. Is listen to the Dapp- classic episodes of the Dapper Dads podcast. And knowing that someday I'm going to have new ones. And maybe someday. Soon. And maybe someday. And it's like when someone's I will have to sleep like, at that homeless shelter and fight for my stuff every night. And I'll have a wife at a house. And we can be happy and, and listen to the Dapper Dads someday. Buddy, you're right. That's right around the corner. I can't wait for you to have new Dapper Dads podcasts either. And he turns around, looks at this guy, and smiles, and I shoot him in the back of the fucking I was going to say, yeah, that seems to be because like the in only... in hell, you can unfold the podcasts you want. In hell, you can listen to the Dapper Dads as much as you want. Yeah, there's new episodes of the Dapper Dads podcast in hell. I was say, we Don't actually... kill yourself. I was say, Punk. we have an... Ex- yeah, I was going to say that. This is going to like... God damn. What do we I do? won't go to court. I, I won't. won't do it. Yeah, I refuse if to I say take it responsibility. Here, it's We're as... Saying... saying I won't go to court is as solid as... Whatever you might have just... We're going to say it right now. We refuse to take any responsibility for your death no. if you kill yourself That's because of the end of the show. since episode 16. Because for a while we were like, well, I don't know if no one's going to listen. Maybe we, we offer some suicide advice. What? Coming soon. Drama solo podcast. Suicide advice. They oh, wow. take letters uh, about... No, I'm not going to even... I was, say, I, don't wanna, this. <laughs> I was say I don't want to be this guy about it, but uh, I've heard a couple of sneak preview episodes, and it is uh, it's uh, what the, some are calling the most offensive thing anyone's ever done. New York Times says if you don't kill yourself by the end of it, you weren't listening properly. <laughs> 
I mean, the reviews are great, but the listeners seem to fall off pretty hard. New York Times bestselling podcast director Drama brings you a brand new cutting edge podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's uh becomes one of those YouTube urban legends where there's some shitty guy from another country being like, and here we have Drama and his kiss podcast where it's said if you listen to the show, you kill yourself. They say that if all on a certain night... All the episodes have been erased. All the... But mysteriously... Right, are but, but mysteriously, when you go to look for the podcast, it, uh, all the episodes have gone and up disappeared. <laughs> some Rumor say... Rumor has it that... You can only listen to my skinny a QR code. I really wanted to get through them. that with that terrible accent. The guys like I don't know who the fuck that is, but he should die too. Guys like it. The rumor says if you scan the code of a QR man's arm in a richer yeah, it's bar, it's slightly off. And you're like, I know what you mean. Is this one of the? the is there's this there's text a guy I've speech? been there's a guy I've seen that's like that, and he's like. Like, it's just right there with the English. And he's like, this next video comes from being a, from an uploader who says that a ghost was in the house. Let's watch, shall we? Yeah, and it's just mildly irritating. You're like, it's That's mildly fine. irritating because, like, he's really nice about it. But yeah. you're like, Ugh. And you're so, I'm not even mad. I'm just like, you're so close. Not even mad. Yeah, Be it's, a it's you're, like, did, did Google Translate fail yeah. you that badly? Um, we see on the video a creature of unknown proportions and origins. <laughs> yeah, and they always point out too much stuff to stretch the video out. And you're like, I know. You could have just showed me the video and been like, what did you get from it? What I love right, is here's like some the other really facts. Yeah, what I, love facts. Is like, what I love is the clearly fake ones. And you can hear in the way they word it. They're like, maybe it's possible that it's a ghost from another dimension seeking revenge for the what they did to their mother seeking revenge for all the things they had to go through it the ordering working at that starbucks over um don't say it working on beep that beep in the last episode was <laughs> intense can i just say that yeah i was gonna cut it out more but then it was funny to me yeah it was funny to so me I too when it. i listened to it but i, I made like, it very quiet <laughs> so don't I, and yeah. if you want to tell me any beef you have with it Oh, you're talking to a dying podcast. Yeah, what are I you going to do? I didn't care to begin with. It's like putting a dying man on trial for the things he did. And he's just like, <gasps> I'll be dead in three weeks. I don't give a fuck. And they put <laughs> him in the slammer. Which is always my defense as yeah, well. And they put him in the slammer and he gets when shanked in, in the shower. When I'm in court for that mass suicide that happened because of this podcast. Oh, and not this podcast, podcast. Your new podcast. No, that thing I said earlier just made everyone be like, hell yeah. You know how suicide is. I mean, I know how I view suicide. When I think about it, I eventually get to a point where I'm like, hell yeah. We can all, yeah, get there. Um, So the people need to know. We update on your your well-being. My condition. Yeah, people, because there's like a a inner office bet, Uh you know. That uh, I'm never going to be able to fuck again. I've heard. (laughs) They got pools. Yeah, there's the no fucking. There's the dying. There's the um, yeah, complication. always in a wheelchair. Always in I the got wheelchair. My money because I'm like, we got hills to bomb, baby. <laughs> I just keep he feeling like hills. you want to recreate the scene from Red Dragon where they light Freddie Long on fire it. and push him down the hill. Never saw it. Refused to see it. Really good. Never gonna even come close to watching it. Books I'm gonna it. unwatch uh, Silence of the Lamb just to get no unwatch away from Hannibal. It. Don't unwatch Silence of the Lambs. I don't watch Hannibal. I started watching it based off your recommend your high high. I mean the movie, not the show. The show's amazing. Oh. Yeah, I don't never seen the movie either. I watched the show off of your recommendation. I can't do it. I'm How sorry. many episodes did you get in? Three or four. I oh. gave it because I'll jump out at one, mm-hmm. uh, which I know is fucked up. I might even went five. And the, and the gore is great. Mm-hmm. This is now just a brief uh, recap of a thing <laughs> one of us finally watched that the other one had recommended a long time ago for years. Some um, would say. Yeah, I feel like you never explicitly said it to me, but or I wasn't listening or whatever. That sounds It's about been right. brought to my attention. I don't hey listen man, to Hey, man, here's you. a show I really enjoy. Anyway, I think you might like it. It's right up your alley. And you're like, yeah, go give me another good, Miller, bitch. But I hate um, when there's like just a super smart character that mm. they figures things out. It drives me crazy because it feels like it can get so lazy. Mm-hmm. It's not specifically, but I'm like, eventually the show's going to ear because it's just like the answer is always there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not as in- anything like that. I would just watch something else that had the same thing. I feel like it's a very common trope, like a super mm. smart guy or just a way to figure things There's out. There's some good twists in it, I would say. I would believe it. I might if I get desperate enough. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I might get I know how it. it. When you get desperate enough, you sink down to my level and try to live there for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's ass with life. But yeah, we got some bets going on, folks. If you want to get it in, don't call the deadline because Slim has access to it. I um, do. 
DM me on Twitter like a lot of you do. Um, About for me. For some reason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a fine reason. But other times you're like, um, I don't know, greased up and... Yeah, I'm getting greased up, and wh- I see I've got a DM on Twitter, so I get greased up, and then I open it, and it's about drama, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, and it's like, drama's way better. <laughs> That's just the DM. Drama's secret. better, and I bet he's more greased up than you right now, and it's from you, and I'm like, whoa, I, there's only one is, way to find this out. This is all true. Um, <laughs> you open your front door, I'm just there greased up in the yeah, wheelchair. Just sliding around. Oh, greased in the wheelchair? <laughs> Naked, greased Down in the hill. wheelchair. I've slid all the way here. You're greased up in a wheelchair, pushed down the hill. I'm at the bottom, ready to receive you. You're gonna die. You're gonna break your pelvis. <laughs> receiving me, yeah, from the bottom of the hill like that. Because let me tell you, two if, shattered pelvises. The if, podcast we, <laughs> is just us with shattered pelvises. The Dapper Dads Shattered Pelvis Edition. Yeah, just We're both just of us in. high on fucking Norcos, just being like, whoa. I'm like, I'm gonna be sick. I'm going to be sick. My dick hurts. I'm going to be sick. Wow. It's almost like that's exactly what's been going through my head for the last week. You figured it out. Yeah. So tell us. I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. My dick hurts. I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. My okay. dick hurts. I know that you took a shit. Um, yeah, when was so, your first shit? Get so, run us through. You know what we need. We don't care about your actual like mood and physical right, feelings. Yeah. So we need the dick shit combo. Let's so, the, go. so the first, uh, so the first shit I took was after the last time we were, did we record on a Saturday or a Sunday? Wednesday afternoon. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah. I, that's censored out. Cause we don't talk about that day. Um, <laughs> whatever day you were here, I like felt it cooking that day. Yeah. It was Sunday, right? Cause Saturday was Halloween. Yeah, it was yeah. it was Sunday because it had been five days since I'd taken a shit, which you know for me is like, so that's something's gone terribly wrong. I'm I'm a multiple yeah. shits a day kind of guy. I'm aware, and as, uh, is, as is everyone that maybe listens to us. And so I could feel it like working its way down, you know, mm-hmm. and like I think because I was still because I've been like spacing out the painkillers more and more, but I at that time I was still taking them on a pretty tight schedule so my body just wasn't working anything through i went to go finally shit and the getting into the bathroom was the big thing like actually yeah i can imagine walk like having to like grip the counter i look like an orangutan legs crawling on your legs crawling in my skin crawling on my yeah i was still leaving and i heard you in the bathroom singing Lincoln Park and I was like I think he's doing better he's worse they win. and when I got here Yadio. you're like doors open <laughs> other Lincoln Parks <laughs> I don't because remember. I knew for a fact I was like I got a shit this morning and I was like he's gonna show up while I'm shitting I can feel it I have to it's and, in our uh, contract every time you shit I'm around I'm within six feet and well, it's so, been tricky obviously <laughs> so I, I, I went to go take the shit and I, like shimming into the the worst feeling is when you know you have shimmy, to shimmy shit. shit. Shimmy shit. The the worst feeling in the world is having to shit and not being able to quickly get to the toilet. Oh, I've yeah. realized. I'm sure. Um, because that's something I've had to kind of get used to is just like taking things very slow and easy. Like I have time. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. But there's like that, there's the the super dad mode that you're it, gonna be in, or the old man mode, I guess. But it's like, yeah, you know, I you're got so time. I'm not going anywhere. Well, it's like I'm so used to just go, 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 go that like yeah. the idea of actually doing things slow is like kind of hard to get used to. And so I'm like very slowly trying to like I'm using the counter to like slide over to the toilet, and I'm like I can feel it happening, like the farts are happening as i'm like sliding over i'm like if i the shit farts are i'm like shit your I, pants next to the toilet I was like, if i shit my pants next to the toilet i was like there's no living this down i was like i can't how do i come back from this i was you like gotta this kill is, yourself but then they're gonna be like he just killed himself he killed himself with shit in his pants he didn't even make <laughs> yeah, it to the can, toilet the coroner can prove that the shit came before the pants it's like a huge thing for some reason there's a court case around this and the guy runs in he's like i just got the results the shit was pre the pre-suicide suicide. he shit like let me let me do all that again i should have been able to say that faster it's my job and he runs out and he runs back in everyone's like everyone's what? like this what? sucks i just got the results back it was my mother is sobbing shit. and everyone goes oh <gasps> and it's such a loud gasp that everybody faints because all the air got all the air in. gets sucked out of the room Huge really fast. Case. and then the room explodes yeah they wake up and the judge is like all these unconscious people just like all if these I was if I was H.H. H. Holmes right yeah. now. <laughs> www.patreon.com slash dapper dads. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> um, Get it while it's hot and still available. Uh, and so I, sl- I slid over to the toilet and I sat down. And it's 
I the only way I can I'm just gonna call it for how it was. There was too much shit backed up. It was one of those things where I was pushing and like it wanted to come out, but like it's just like peaking a little bit because you can tell it's yeah. still there's too much hanging out in there that my body hasn't like. Do you ever try like leaning and pulling your ass? Open? Yeah. Have you ever had a broken pelvis and tried to lean and pull your ass while that's happening? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would really. It's not. I'm not talking about pulling your pelvis. <laughs> I'm talking about balancing and spreading your butt cheeks. I'm talking about do you want to shit or not? Because you're d- being I'm t- ridiculous. I'm talking about I did, but if I, I was there, I would have just walked in there, grabbed your hip, and pulled your butt cheeks apart. Honest to for God, you. That, well, I, I for us I, I, for I this brand. I would have appreciated the fans, it so fucking much for the guy with the QR code that links to. That picture of you shitting on the toilet. <laughs> to that, to the guy with the QR code that links to the documents of me proving that it was a pre-suicide shit. Yeah. Um, like, what's the, is this in PDF? Is this in PDF? What is this? A goddamn j- Open it in the browser. Can I open it? No. How did you send me a document a as a FLAC file? Like, how do you even do <laughs> that? This can't sound good. This can't sound good. It's going to be one of those files it's you play so, and it sounds so scary. It's, it's so, so scary. scary it's so scary. You can never hear because you accidentally named a, yeah, a different file of, Audio file. took my haunted house sounds and called. <laughs> sounds like dial up went to a rave and got sounds, up. sounds like dial up is getting fucked in a room with a white noise machine. <laughs> You're like, whoa, HH. dial up is getting sexually assaulted by white noise machine on camera. Oh, and I love being that band. Recorded in flack. Yeah. People are like, oh. Album of the year, honestly. Guys, it's, it's fine. It's experimental. We, guys, guys, I just want you to know that we recorded the whole assault in flat quality, so it can be downloaded at any bit rate you choose. Folks, I hate to keep bringing it up, but our last episode is coming up right around the corner, and uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a JPEG file that we renamed an MP3 file, and we put through a distortion pedal, and uh, we think it's some of our best work. Damn, Peggy. Not the best, but some of the best. Anyway, so you managed to not shit your pants, or you did shit your pants? I did not shit my pants, but it did. I lost that bet, folks. Office pool. DM me. I did not shit Pictures my pants, boobs. so I don't know who owes me money, but go ahead and send it oh, to me. Oh, you don't get any of the money. Oh. We it's get... not going towards like my medical bills or anything? I don't know why it would. Oh, interesting. <laughs> when you get into like a Super Bowl office bet, you don't pay the football Losing players. Losing team. Like, yeah, yeah, you don't like... <laughs> Yeah, it's not about. I don't give the NFL the money. Yeah, it's not about it's the players, me. idiot. It's about me and my inability to bet properly. Yeah, they just happen to do something. We're betting on the possibility of things. Odds were three hundred to one. Me shitting my pants and dying before I made it to the toilet. Yeah, it's it's the biggest upset. Yeah, people are going to be pissed. Bookies are outraged. You do not want to deal with the bookies on Monday. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, but it it, it took a minute just for everything to get out. Just because just one it, minute. Several. Are you using the squatty potty, or is that too harsh for your? It's a bit too harsh body. right now. I haven't tried it to be honest with you, just because it's it's a lot of the movement with the pelvis is that's restricted is being able to like lift my leg mm-hmm. on its own and dance like Elvis and dance like Elvis with the pelvis. Yeah, but you can still die on the toilet. I can. I'm still the. Don't, yeah, the, don't rule it I out. haven't died on the toilet yet, so that that really? <laughs> that pool I is still when going. I got here, I was like. I might, I might have made some money. What would you have done had you shown up and I was dead on the toilet? Uh, before or after I throw the party? <laughs> there's my <laughs> answer. Out. Yeah, there's my answer. Hey, guys, come over, bring some beers. We'll keep it social distance. Don't use the upstairs bathroom. Pee in the sink downstairs. Yeah, I'll always pee in the sink downstairs. Someone's like, I'll go to take a shit. And they go, and it's just your dead body. It's like, did you ever hear about that kid that threw a, his parents were out of town and he threw a party and they were he had actually murdered them in their bedroom that was just in the other room and these kids are like getting fucked up and they started being weird you know like someone who murders their parents yeah and he's like my parents are dead in the other room (laughs) and then i think he did show two of the kids and i'm pretty sure everyone continued to party because i mean what are you gonna do yeah like i killed his parents i'm not gonna be like let me go my god let me call the cops (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) just taking pictures I'm on Cops show up. Oh, it's 10.01 p.m. This party's a little loud, and it smells like a fucking corpse in here. <laughs> this party's uh, a little loud for the time, and hey, there's Johnson, blood all over notice, the walls. Uh, notice all these flies in here? Flies, uh, flies don't just hang out like this, do they? No, they sure don't. There's a lot of maggots. We got a... You got some questions about the whereabouts of your parents? Oh, they're dead in the other room. Yeah. You guys want hey, a guys, beer? It's five bucks a cup for dudes after 10. They're like... 
come on. Yeah, come on, man. It's like 10.05. Con- I didn't know. <laughs> the cop. Ladies free. The cop goes. There's even ladies in here. It's a sausage fest. Yeah, it's one lady cop, but she's like. There's a, a lady in the bedroom, but she's not very active. Oh. <laughs> oh, this kid gets it. Yeah, she's still active for a little bit. Whoa, get that guy out of here. <laughs> Listen, I'll kill my parents. She but was I'll be active. If someone's going to fuck a She was active when I was in there. Whoa. <laughs> This guy fucked this kid's dead mom. This dead kid, this guy this fucked this kid's dead hard. mom that he murdered. Not Listen. the not the fucker guy. The kid guy killed his mom that the I'm fucker fine. guy fucked. I'm fine with the acts that have taken place. This is but why it's just it's not concise. You know what I mean? It's this is why we were never say. getting interviewed for a Netflix like murder special. Like somebody we know gets killed, and they're like, and we're like, I think. The, the kid fucker, no, he's not a kid fucker, he, 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 corpse like fucker he, kid, yeah. the corpse fucker kid, there and the no murder pedophilia. parent kid. Just, uh, I almost said narcolepsy. Our interview you know is, what I mean. Our but interview like, is so confusing. They're just it's like, It's a whole spinoff of, like, they, it just is like, these two dudes maybe will eventually find what they're actually trying to say. We, we've we've like, got, damn, we, we've got the evidence. The we've got evidence that the, that the fucker didn't fucking, didn't kill the fuck. Didn't kill the one he fucked. He didn't. Yeah, he he didn't, just did the fuck. He's not a murderer. He's just a fucker. He's not a fucker. He's the a murderer. He's, he's not a murder fucker. He's just a fucker of a murder. Yes. Fucking a murder. The Netflix story. I love it. I love Netflix. Get at us. We know you throw money at pretty much anything with a pulse. Especially now. We'll do it over Zoom. Yeah, we'll do it now. We'll set you guys up over Zoom with a fantastic several six season show arc of a TV show where it's just us talking about different murders that we think we have evidence and clues about yeah that i've heard, i i read an article headline yeah, i about. read an article that based on a true story i read a clickbait article and i kind of sort of turned it into a series of a tv show yeah so anyway your shit anyway my shit uh so it took a minute to come out and quite frankly i felt like a woman that got fucked in the ass when i was done so oh, a big painful one big yeah because like it like it I mean, let's just let's just do this. It stretched yeah. it stretched me out, bro. Like it was like a big, I hate the it term. was like a big shit that took a minute to come out. And when it finally came out, I like looked at it, and like it was like, was it just one big solid log? It was several big chunks that had broken up to get out. I feel like if it was one big log, it would have killed me. Like if I had to okay. push that out as one giant log, it would have murdered but- me. We've all seen one that looks like an arm in like a public. That's toilet. what I took today. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to show you today. Was the one I took because it. So this one was bigger than the other one, or just this more one I compact? took just now today while just you were now coming, just now band. in my bag. <laughs> You're like I'm actually uh, really excited. This is to not my present leg. Present something. Just slide. No, the, the one I took while band. you were coming over here was one big long one, and that is weird for me because usually it's not one big long one so i want to know what i did to my body yesterday to constitute i think it's just like not going as frequently because i feel like if i take like not as many shits and it makes sense i think it just gets more compact in your body instead of shooting out uh, and that's and that's how it seemed as you said (laughs) because it's like uh, i looked at it because i stood you know you and everybody, you're lying if you say you're not checking out your shit when you're done shit. And I mean, you I know. don't know how it's possible. Like I, yeah, I like, hate that so much. I thought of people this the other are like, day. no, I never look. It's like how? I feel like you've never don't look. Yeah, you. Ha- I don't think I've ever taken a shit that I didn't look. I feel, at. I feel like I mean, unless it was out like of a, a window of a moving vehicle, or like a porga john. Yeah, if you can't see it, but you still look in there. Yeah, because you're like, how deep does it go? <laughs> that too. It's a, the funnest. Because you take a shit and then and you you're like, oh, not deep enough. You're wow, this is really close for comfort. And then you how, throw your t-shirt in there and it feels yeah. really good. <laughs> feels great. It feels awesome. <laughs> Until someone brings up uh, things that have been brought to my attention afterwards, like possible repercussions for the people, obviously not me. I would love a future where they can track you down <laughs> from you a t-shirt an you toss in a porta john into one of twenty porta johns. They're like out of a, like a hunt over a hundred that are just on the property. Years which is later, sprawling. you're yeah, a father. A you're at home scientists. with your kids, grilling, hanging out in the backyard. They're like oh on a God. slip and slide. You ever wear undershirts? I was like, cop shows up it. in your yard. He's like, "Nice day today, huh?" And you're like, "Oh uh, like, yeah." Fucking die, pig! <laughs> oh, shoot him because that's the future. Oh my God. I not wish. me killing it anybody. Not yeah, not. It's just no. totally legal to kill. It's just totally legal future. to shoot cops in the future. What a what a world. <laughs> and I think to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> world. I see dead Don't pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow suit. Fascist too. 
all these white men going to meet God. <laughs> and I think to myself, what a wonderful... <laughs> yeah, just slow motion, just blowing cops away with two double barrel and just go, 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 go. Like, the, yeah, that, that's what I want, the slow motion, like, kid doesn't know how to hold a machine gun and it's violently being... <laughs> slow motion. And I think to myself, there's not enough dead cops. I'll, I won't be happy till every cop's dead. <laughs> and their wives aren't getting beat no more. If you're married right. to a cop, right. here's my phone gonna, number. It's going to be a copyright claim. From... The, the estate of Louis Armstrong's like, you made that song so much better. It brought Louis yeah. back they... to life and he started crying. Because <laughs> it was so beautiful. He wiped one tear away, but then his finger broke off. He wiped he one tear away and then he people. said, someone fetch me a joint. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Your shit? My shits. Um, are you... Are you horny can i get a horny check uh yeah you're back i'm back did I, you I, I, I did when uh i'm gonna say it wasn't it wasn't sunday it wasn't the day i took yeah, the didn't, shit it didn't look like it was gonna <laughs> no. be sunday uh you mean the day you said you didn't have a you couldn't have a sexual thought at all <laughs> yeah that day <laughs> and then <laughs> and then i was sitting there and ding, um, i was horny it was either it was either monday or tuesday i forget what it was but i like I woke up and I wasn't like hard, but I started going through the Instagram reels oh, no. and, uh, no. and I started getting a little twitch and I'm like, oh what's God. this? I'm like, what's this? What's this? There's something happening. What's this? My dick, it might just work. What's this? I'm only going to get about a quarter hard. I'm going to tug it as hard as I can. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, it's happening really fast. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, I, I, I got one out and it was... um. It was scary because I'm used to uh, at least getting one out every couple of days. Mm -hmm. So much like the shit, I feel like it just had time to back up. And, and we all know my factory's working at full capacity, pumping them out. There's a uh, because the, the, here's a, here's I, I just here's what I've learned about my body over the years. You know, you got to learn to listen to your body like you because say this constant. My body is my body. It's a different from everybody. And I got to learn what it needs and how it mm -hmm. reacts to everything. I've learned that. Uh, much like how you have like different tiers of stores, you know, you know how you have like, like the small WalMarts that don't even have like the grocery section in it still. Mm -hmm. And you're like, how does this, how does this even exist? Yeah. And like you go in and it's just really small. There's not a ton of people in there. And then you go to a super Walmart and it takes up like a whole city block and yeah. they've got like a hair salon and a deli and an execution range in the back. My, the only reason I go. It's basically a mini mall made out of a Walmart and you're like, wow, there's got to be. They make like, you know, millions and millions of dollars at that store every single day. Yeah. That's how my balls are. My, my balls are a big tier five store where everything's working constantly at full capacity. We got a lot of business coming through. Yeah. I love the idea of like the guys that run your dick. Like I always say, there's, you got different people. You got the little there. men running my dick and, and balls. Who's, yeah. He's like calling in other people and he's like, there's just, the, the door's just closed. The right. It opens like every day for sure. And sometimes it opens several days. Sometimes we're like, the door just closed. <laughs> and they're like, but we got we got millions of sperm just standing there. Like, they're just we hanging out. We don't know what to do, like, know what to do with all of them. Like the lights are off, and they're like, I don't, I don't know. Did, did the factory shut down? We got too many in there. We can't. There's too much system. goddamn cum in here. <laughs> what do we do with this? I don't know what to do. There's just too much goddamn cum in here. That's one of those things where like I was like going through the reels, and then I'm like, oh shit, and then I'm like. You know what? I'm like, let's uh, it's like, let's just try it out. What else am did, I doing? Did you? What did you jerk off to? Regular porn? I did jerk off to regular ah, porn. You should have went with reels. You could have had finally had the reset. We always talk. About. I thought about jerking off to the reels, but then I was like, I need more. I was like, I need something more. Right. You know, I, I got warmed up from the reels because you know I'm right, looking right. at all the reels. We all get warmed the, up reels from the reels helped me realize what I wanted to jack off to. So that way, okay. when I went to Pornhub, I was able to you look had a real refined search. Term. Right, I, it, it's not just blindly scrolling and being like, "Holy fuck, look at all these!" It's being like, "Okay, I know exactly what I want today." Uh, and it's one of those. It's, I mean, like it was good. Like it, it felt great to come for the first time. In was a week. your was your boner plentiful? Uh, or weaker than normal, which is already weak. I was going to say, it's already pretty weak. I'd say it was, 
about as average as it gets for my current state, you know, because the big thing is like sitting comfortably or like laying right. down comfortably, you know, and like not being in pain. And so like, you know, I can't just kind of loosey goosey tug my meat as hard as I want or as right. freely as I want. So it wasn't so my body's just kind of tentatively like, hey, we need to do this, but like, let's be careful with right. it, you know, so yeah. like I wasn't Take it easy. It wasn't Take like. It. It wasn't so hard that it was cutting. It's just this slow motion. On top of spaghetti. I don't know why I'm turning off to that. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it, just, it felt right. I mean, uh, I covered can't. Covered with cheese. Listen, I can't kink shame anyone. I can't kink shame anyone, but if you're jerking off to, uh, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed, it fell off of the yeah, table. Yeah, I don't know if I know this song. It fell on the floor. It's like a children's my poor meatball, it rolled out the door. <laughs> Just yeah, slowly, just, like you with the machine guns. It's me slowly jerking it to on top of spaghetti for some reason. Oh, slow motion. Oh, face from a man. Send him to at Fast Finger Slim on oh, yeah. Twitter. Hell He's yeah. got time. I do he got to time. Analyze some faces. Uh, the the load was bigger than what I was anticipating. <laughs> I'll say that much. I could have. Yeah, if I had to guess, because it's one of those things where like. And this doesn't happen to me. Very, this doesn't happen to me very often because I'm usually like jerking off on a regular basis. But it's one of those things where I'm coming and I'm like, okay, she guys, like let's stuff. like. There was like, like another fifteen pumps. There was yeah. There was like another pump or two at the end, and I was like, whoa, okay, hello. Haven't had an extra pump or two since I was fifteen. This is kind of nice. My um, body's just so used to regularly shooting out the cum that it doesn't have yeah, time. They know how many pumps. They it takes. my it's body has my effective. pumps down to a science. Yeah, it's like. I'm pretty sure my body has pumps business. down to a science as to what will and won't get a woman pregnant because I refuse to wear condoms and it hasn't happened yet. So well, they don't make one for your a dick penis. My small, That's not yeah. A dick my small. <laughs> a, di a dick as small as mine. Uh, no, I Mac I've, and me, my dick and me. They make tiny little condoms. Yours is just such a what they consider um, unusual shape because it like it comes out on that side real wide. The, Somehow doesn't make it a big penis. Still. I was like, Just, Doctor, how would you describe it? And he goes, well, I, I hate to make light, but I would call it obtuse rubber goose. <laughs> yeah. Cheese with. I just thought of that. Green beans, beans potatoes, Sweet. tomatoes, and lamb. Um, so I have been ungodly horny. Welcome. Like, welcome to my Not life. No, no, H.H. H. Holmes. I, uh. Yeah, I'd say illegally. Work. Like I'm horny. Like me than level I've horny. Been. Yeah, and that, I was. There's two possibilities. Here. Oh, now I get to sing to you about it. Welcome to my. Do you Please ever don't. feel like breaking down? Do you? There are ever two feel... possibilities. One. You're pregnant. I'm. So there's. I, what were we just saying? It's come to my attention that there's three possibilities now. I'm pregnant and my pussy is wet. It's I mean, the fact, folks. I'm I mean, sorry. I knew that. Um. It's because I started taking CBD, okay. and it's going very well for me, and that has rekindled my sex drive. Or I had the thought of, since you were down and out, you I have gained your absorbed my on top horny? of my like probably fine to low amount of. I'd say low. I, right? I think it's fine. I think yours is so unbelievable uh, that you just can't fathom a life like mine. But I think mine would be pretty regular, maybe a, a tad low. But I was like, now they're together, and I'm just like, yeah, I can't even reels. I can't even look at my explore page at all. Like I'm, t I swear to God, I'm just like, I, I could fuck through. This makes a me so happy glass. to hear. Like, oh my god, thank you. Like I love hearing you talk. Like I don't this. know what it is, but mm. I don't like it. Either. I don't. What's not to like? You're just horny all the time. Yeah. It sucks. It's horrible. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, I like that's why you way. take care. Go fuck. Like, that's how you take care of it. Like, I don't understand what the problem is here. I just go outside. <laughs> I'm horny. I gotta fuck. What, everyone's like, my neighbors hate me because that's yeah. all I do. Constantly. This one trick will make your neighbors hate you. Go outside and yell this how horny you are. This one son of a bitch is getting laid constantly. And basically, and you're fucking you stupid. Like, God, really? <laughs> like, really? This Local milk's me fuck in the wheelchair. In this area? Lo and I'm assuming the area refers to the penis. My pelvis is broken. I only want to fuck. <laughs> Who are these ads for? Him or My me? husband is dead. My pelvis is broken. I'm single, horny, and all I want to do is fuck. My kids are away at college. 
Everybody's like, hey, grandpa, you looking for a sugar baby? I'm like, I need to be a sugar baby. You want to pay my medical bills, baby? I'll t currently, Slim is taking applications to be someone's sugar baby. If you know any rich old ladies that would like some unimpressive broken pelvis cock, call 4027 Dapper and let. Maybe if they have like a, uh, like a baby fetish, like Not a baby. kissing fetish. <laughs> kissing fetish. I mean, like they like it where I just you kiss tell. them a lot. <laughs> I, I know, like that. Sound nice. I like watching you kiss a lady. A lot. I would love to just kiss. You know, I love to kiss. And boy, I can't even. That's what I mean. So I'm like, you know how long it's been since someone's just like kissed me a lot? Like I've just gotten. Like, kiss you earlier. Yeah, you were like, we can't do that. And no, I, like, I said we're not supposed to do that. Not okay, you can't I guess we'll just it. sit next to each other for two hours talking in our general directions. But I, God for let's draw the line at a kiss. Yeah. I mean, do you want to kiss or not? Not on camera. Okay. No proof. Um, <laughs> we. We'll say that. You always say it, and because know I'm, now very it's a trope I'm very proud, I'm very proud that I'm the only one who's. You say this, and it's not true. It is. It's a funny <laughs> joke. I'm bleeping. I'm bleeping all of Numerous this out times. in the most and I extravagant way. Too. I'm bleeping a lot of this out just to make it confusing. <laughs> anyway, I so I'm like I'm in the same place. I, I'm gonna bleep a bunch of this At out. The <laughs> I'm gonna leave that, and we'll continue now. <laughs> and if I call um, you a bitch, it's uh, cause you're my bitch. Yeah, I, Instagram's out the window. Like, I can't deal yeah, with Instagram's it. But then I'm getting, like, it's so crazy. I'm seeing, like, ads, like the weight loss ads where it's, like, a tubby person and then, like, underweight. And I'm, like, <sighs> and even the tubby one, I'm, like. <sighs> I know. But, bro, and then today. And I, I, don't mind a, I don't mind a tubby girl. I see a tubby girl in her underwear. Yeah, I'm, like, give me the before. Yeah. Um, I'll fuck and then the this morning, I saw a furry, a picture of a furry, no. and I was horny. No. Yeah, very feminine horse i'm telling you it's not good it's not don't get close to me. i'm getting this i'm getting this close a, a furry yeah a fu you didn't even warn I'm me saying. for this a furry i'm telling that's what even not good. i have never you just said you were so happy that i'm this horny do you see how it's immediately <sighs> detrimental yeah because okay because even i have my lip bro i've never even been so horny that i get turned on by a furry yeah, it was like a and very... And you know me. I've been so horny that I scream I into the night. I wasn't like I'm like, hard. Oh, oh. I, was, I wasn't hard looking at it. I just was like, oh. Like, I feel like everything I've I look at, I'm like, I've seen someone who is a furry that I look at and I'm like, okay, I would fuck yeah, I, you. Yeah, I feel like not we're, not, in the suit. we're not... Yeah, I don't think we're picturing the same thing because it didn't look like your average furry. I'm gonna, are you going to be able to pull this up for me? I don't think so. I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> I'm going to guess furries? No, I think I was looking. I googled Freddy Krueger glove and got real deep in and a... Got a Freddy Krueger furry thing going on? I mean, that would be great. <laughs> Could you imagine? Imagine getting jerked off by a girl dressed up as Freddy Krueger with a full prosthetic makeup jerking you off with the glove. Movie quality makeup? Movie quality. Jerking me off with the glove? Turns out it's Robert England <laughs> jerking you off with the glove. I mean, I would be down if he's and down. He's, and he's just like, ha, 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 ha. It's he's like that about scene in Freddy vs. Jason where he makes the girl's corpse wave. Or he, uh, he's like his uh, commentary track on Freddy vs. Jason where every time there's boobs, he's like, oh, look at those boobs. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, this makes a lot of sense yeah. to me. Um, but yeah, I've just been, I'm not, I'm not having a great time. I feel great otherwise, but I also am dealing with the demon of horniness. Yeah, it's, it is excess. Like it's it's too much. I like, t I too battle this demon, no so reason, I understand. But there's no reason to have to walk around like that. You know what I mean? That's what. I, see, now that is where I draw the line because it's like there. You're right. There is a limit to where it's like I how yeah because like, sometimes not, the horny just keeps going. I know and that's like, where I'm at. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, and I'll, you're like, there's got to be a limit to this. Like, there's got to be. I'll ejaculate out of my penis, and mm -hmm. then like, the, the show just after, ends. Like, I'll ejaculate then, out of my penis. It's clear that I've never done it. I'm like, and then you know, like <laughs> the, you know what? It, the it, event it feels of it. good, and then like Pe the song the, starts. People have seen it. They know. And then the no cleanup crew me. comes and they <laughs> fluff you. The pit crew has to tw torque my balls. They got to twerk. <laughs> They're putting the but fuel yeah, in. Go, just, go, 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 go. It's just go, go, go. It's excessive, and I don't have an answer. And I feel like this might be me. I mean, are you fucking enough to get, take care of it? I mean, no, because I'm so horny. That's what I mean. It's are you, surpassing. You have to, and I don't think you have to jerk off to supplement in between the fucks. Yeah, but I like it. But just make feels sure like you it's wash never... your dick because you don't. Want... <laughs> Doubt it, but doubt it. Make sure you wash I'll allow it. it. <laughs> I'll allow it. 
but I really gotta know. Make sure you wash your dick, because the last thing you want is to just have jerked off like an hour before, think you've cleaned your dick enough, then your girl is like, hey, let's fuck, and then she's like, oh, did you fuck somebody else? And you're like, no, I just jerked off a lot, and then they're like, why are you jerking off? And then you're What's like, on you- your penis in this scenario? <laughs> Look, man, I don't want to, this is a what if, this is a hypothetical. Oh, pussy okay. juice. <laughs> it was a cheating, I have that jar of pussy juice that I jerk off with. I like the real. Ah, uh, yes, the I thing. love a real stupid bitch that can't tell the smell difference between cum and pussy I thought, juice. I thought you were going to say I love a real stupid bitch who's well to give me a jar of her pussy. Jar, I also love which that. Seems difficult. Call to... 4027 no. Dapper. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Point that out too. Yeah, call 4027 Dapper to give to gift so Slim we can a block you. I, because you shouldn't I, be allowed to be I don't want to be this guy, but I think a jar of pussy juice might cure my pelvis. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> conjection, conjection. I need two jars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One jars. for each break what in am the I pelvis. Going One for each break in the pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> if I only have one jar, it'll only heal one of the breaks. But yeah, I'm horny. Don't know what to do about no it. No one contact me. Contact me You're barking about up it. the wrong tree. I'm... All these girls are contacting me. They're like, oh, I wish I could fuck drama. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks. I'm like, how are you well, doing? I said to contact you. You he's said to tell so you hot. about it. He's just so hot, and I hear he's so horny, and I'm a furry, and I heard he likes furries. I'm like, no. no. You have to I'll give him a jar of your and... pussy juice before you can Shoot be a furry it. that fucks him. Um, no furries fuck my friend without paying the pussy troll troll. <laughs> now there's a third party. <laughs> or are you the troll? Or is there another troll? They pay me in the pussy juice to fuck you. So you're the troll. <laughs> Duh. Look at me. <laughs> This doesn't seem like the I'm clearly not the attractive one of the podcast. I'd hate to say it, but I do all the time. I mean, you got the brain. People ask, they're like, how's the podcast going? It's like, it's pretty good. I'm the more uh, attractive one. (laughs) Okay. People are like, how's the podcast? Yeah, it's ending soon, but. People are like, how's the podcast going? I'm like, oh, drama's the looks and the brains. Yeah. And they're like, but how's it going? I'm like, oh, he's the looks and the brains. (laughs) Then they look over and I'm just looking at you like, say it. Make sure they know it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Just saying. Oh yeah, he's the looks and he's the looks and the brains. You've been media trained, but just to compliment me on those two things. You know, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Like, say it. Also, he's much handsomer and his dick's bigger and he's smart. I'll he's, allow it. He's the looks and the brains. Just gavel the bar. I just start getting a, a nosebleed. I was um, doubt it with someone last night Doubted. and they were telling a story that i was it it's one of those are you ever with a group of people and someone tells a story and you're like i think we can call it here i would love like, to just talk just about this evening? story for the rest of the night or yeah we can all just go home this story is the perfect story like, yeah what are we going to talk about or do after the story like, that could be better i'm going to i hate to be that guy but i'm going to keep bringing it back to the story because i've like i can talk about this till i die honestly so if we could all just make sure we talk about the story so <laughs> my buddy who you know, um, was at work. He works as like a cable installer. You know what I mean? Like internet, come to your house. Yeah, and, okay. Um, he said that he was at a job the other day. Which I do I do just want to take a time out and say that these types of people always have the best at work stories for like going to people's houses and shit like That's that. That's what I thought. And it's fun. Yeah, we'll get into that like perfectly. Um, cause yeah, he shows up to the house and like the main lady who answers the door doesn't speak English. So her son comes in. Her son is like mid twenties. I want to emphasize that cause I kept saying kid and then it gets weird. Okay. But like mid twenties, whatever. So the kid is like a full grown adult man. Right. And, uh, but it is his older woman's son. Yeah. That's what, at least what's implied. Uh, the woman doesn't speak English. So she goes down to the basement and the son's there showing him around getting getting everything set up and then he asks my buddy what's the craziest thing that's ever happened while you were working mm-hmm. which is like my favorite question to ask people yeah specifically ubers i do it all the time because a lot of times we've gotten some amazing stories in ubers from yeah that. i think that's the best one to do um because they get so many people my, and- my favorite was that one guy we had after the last sound set where we went downtown and he was like from texas and he moved up to 
Minnesota, remember? And he was like talking. He's like, he's like my wife. I'm like, why the winners? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. That guy, guy was that fucking guy was very awesome. eccentric. Yeah, yeah. I've had so many. I hope he, I hope he's doing good. You know, I like you ever so just too. think about like your Uber drivers and like old. I do ones? a lot because my favorite one ever was I. It was also in Minnesota, and uh, <laughs> the girl with the cooler that I had to hold. No, that one sucked. That one sucked so. Was bad. she deaf? Or was that another one? I, th- th- she was Someone the one. Was, were you she with was the, the deaf one, where, one? Yeah, she was yeah. the one where, where I had that to ride sucked. in the front no seat. No offense, but yeah. fuck. But then, like, she it's wasn't. You can't hear. It doesn't mean we don't get, have to listen to anything. Just yeah. silence? No offense. No offense. No offense. Uh, but you should be able to hear if you're going to be an Uber driver. Wow. We're Whoa. Just, wow. We just ending. get a bunch of ableist com- comments. <laughs> I'm like, how'd you hear it? <laughs> Sorry. It was right. <laughs> if I didn't take it, it wouldn't be right. Oh, when I cough like that, it makes my, my pelvis hurt. Don't do oh, that. Oh, I got I got it for you. Um, yeah, my favorite one was in Minnesota when we were going back to the hotel, and I had to ride in the front seat because there was other people, and one of them was Matt. He was going to puke, and for some reason, me and the Uber driver started rating Kanye albums, so it just devolves into me, very drunk, him, presumably sober, screaming, but in that way like we do as a right, dad. we're just passionate. And we're both on the same page, but from an outside perspective, you'd be like, those men are about to get into an altercation. Those men are about to kill You're each like, other no, over a Kanye album. No, we're passionate album. about the fact that Graduation is the best Kanye album. True, yeah. At the time. Now it's clearly Lord is King. or what, Jesus, Jesus is King. King? Sorry, I'm a big fan of yeah, big fan of the Lord. Lord. <laughs> we said it at the same time. Like, That's true. Um, now that means we get to go to heaven. Sick. So yeah, this kid, this the son asks, "What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to my buddy?" It's a great question. People ask um, workers. I guess I don't know. It depends what your job is, but it seems to always go well. My buddy's answer because I had asked this before um, when he like started working for this company. And it's just like some crazy houses, like hoarding. See a lot of hoarding. Yeah, like a lot of dirty gross stuff. houses. Yeah. And then animals. Those are like his three things. And there's like some, you know, uh, better versions of that, like crazier stories, but nothing like wow. And so the son, that's the question he asked. They have a very short amount of like talking about like hoarders and whatever. And then straight to when was the last time you got deep throated? The kid asks my buddy, which like I, th- I I have a feeling I know where this is yeah, going. I think everybody and can. it's the feeling I had when the story started, when he was alone in the basement with him, and he goes, "What's the craziest thing?" No, the there? mom goes down to the basement, and they're just and I don't the know. Mom where is they like, were. "When's the last time you got deep throated?" And the son's like, "You mean our boyfriend?" And I'm like, "Whoa!" No, basically, yeah. So he goes, "When's the last time you got deep throated?" And that's like. That alone. That's a crazy I, question. I kept bringing it up. Yeah, because I'm like, even if I like was we weren't recording, I'm just hanging out with you, and I dropped that question. Like, there's never a time. There's a, you can't you can't like just gently bring it, that and up and saying like deep throat. I was gonna say if, if, I, if I can make blow. that if I can make a point there. I hate to be be the guy about schematics and everything. Yeah, but you're making the when, distinction. When's of, the last like, time you got like throated. blown or like when's the last yeah. time you got your dick sucked? Right. When's the last time you got right. deep? That's throated. what I mean. I feel like I could under some circumstance be like, when's the last time you got your dick sucked to you? Oh, and it wouldn't be that weird. Seventeen if years I was ago. Like, when was the last time you got deep throated? Yeah, that's a very specific. More like, personal. Yeah, that's not. I wouldn't even like, call it per. Yeah, personal it in a way that it's like that's uh, that's not your. What if I don't like it? What if it's not big enough to deep throw? You don't know. Now you're offending me. I mean, I feel like it's not. In case you're wondering, no, it's more deep throatable the smaller it gets. No, but it, if it, it's not big enough to go in her throat, right. there's a difference deep, between taking all of it deep and deep throating it. All right, fair enough, folks. Um. So, yeah, that's a crazy question. I'd love to come back to that. I just have so many points. But, when um, is the last time you got deep throated? Yeah, Tuesday. Lucky. <laughs> at 10.45 a.m. Looking at a furry. Yeah, I deep throated myself looking at a furry. You know, a real normal Tuesday morning. I mean, is there any other way to do it? <laughs> you could not talk to me like this. I know, I'm sorry. No, the, I'm not saying it's don't adjust yourself. <laughs> but it's the stance. I refuse to deal with it. Um so yeah, my buddy's just like I don't know because he's so taken off guard. This feels even crazier because I feel like I feel like this is what it's gonna be like when the podcast ends. I'm just looking at empty furniture and I'm pretending to still do a pretending podcast with you. A podcast. I'm taking breaks so you can talk. 
And then, yeah, and you're looking through the window, and you're like, oh, he lost it. Oh, he's entirely he's so lost. so horny your, that he's your, transcended Your wife calls me. She's point. like, just look. I'm looking through the window. You're down there. You're like, yeah, so anyway, when's the last it's time you got deep-throated? Yeah. yeah. Your voice is really annoying for some reason like that. Like, you've decided to take on a whole new persona. You got to. You got to keep things fresh. Um, but, yeah, my buddy's just like, I don't know. And the, the son says, I've always had a fantasy of hooking up with like someone a service worker that comes into my house for something uh, can i give you a blowjob and let's just say best blowjob ever my buddy said he no, let us no <laughs> <laughs> do you know who i'm talking about by chance because you know him you spent time with him um just go like this and mouth like, I, that, that's yeah. that's who I thought. So that, that's so, even crazier, which, right? Which I love because, well, I mean, first of all, w- without naming, a handsome guy. Yeah. Good good looking guy. But that, and that's my biggest thing. So then... Um, so, like, I, I understand, but at the same yeah, time, that, knowing him enough, like, I don't know, I don't, like, know him like that, but, like, I've right. spent enough time around the guy to be, like, I, <laughs> I can just see him reacting to this as well as possible. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, it's so crazy for so many reasons obviously he d- declined the blowjob but then he's like well he had just started so then i still have to be there for like an hour setting well, stuff that's up. what's crazy is the guy like went into it right, uh, right away. off the game because like, to me call me it crazy was, the was, way to do it is when the guy's done be like okay uh looks like we got yeah. everything taken care of here damn i'm gonna be like heading out work. do you have any questions about anything it's looks like, like oh, you yeah, wore yourself out you need a break break your dick into my mouth that's how i do it well all right so it looks like we got everything set up here you should be good to go any questions about anything yeah when's the last time you got deep throated <laughs> yeah, i mean then that's at least better because it was uh, like open-ended like do you have any questions you're like yeah it's not about what happened today, it's not but, about them it's not about my like, cable but it's about your cable that, if you know what i mean that is like such a a crazy thing to do because like prefacing it with that question is implying that he's not only gonna blow you, but he's gonna deep throw you. He's gonna you know take what I mean? all, like, like he's, he's gonna set that up. Like, like he's gonna do, he's gonna do do a good fucking job. Like, but he, my thing, and yeah, I, that's what I mean. I hear this story, and like then we're eating around a dinner table, and I'm like, I can't. Like, I'm not gonna be. Like, I got to <laughs> keep running through this because it's just so it's so crazy to me. And my biggest point, I think, is like. So is he just locked and loaded for anyone that comes through the door? That's what I'm saying. Like, is this guy ready for like, like any? If that's your thing, like that's your fantasy. And not to disparage anybody, if you want to hook up with strangers, hook up with strangers. That's yeah, it. Not that's, that. that's your business. But my thing is like, and not to disparage anyone else, but like, there's a lot of service workers, people who come into your house that are going to be unpleasant looking. I'll say it. You and know what I mean? Could could be creeps. You have no idea. Yeah. Well, I mean, who's creepier in the scenario? The kid who's like the 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 son the 25 year old who's like can i suck your dick well, like I that's mean, like, so fucked up to do to someone who's working i mean i think this is very bold first of all okay i think it's given, very wrong i think it's like i'm not gonna say it's someone wrong. who's at their job okay at that's their job super yeah. fucked up to do to here's, anyone. here's what i'm gonna say especially in your it's also very creepy because it feels like he could it's it's kill you now oh it's, it it's like very it, bold given a the area that we live in we're not exactly like the most progressive area in the world right so to go up to a random guy who's coming into your house and being like hey well yeah especially because like yeah if someone can i suck your dick because you don't know who's gonna be like homophobic and be like oh some gay guys right but not me, even you know yeah that of course uh, but not even I'd that be worried if about someone that. if someone like said if a man says to me i want to suck your dick I would be like, oh, I'm glad that you do. Like, I'm, I'm not interested, but yeah, but I like, mean, like, of all the dicks you could suck, you want it to be mine. That's fantastic. Like, I genuinely think that's fantastic. I'm not interested in it until, you know, we exchange some money and several you beers. You know, I've had like nine beers and I'm just yeah, nine like, to ten after that. I can like, very just don't whip your dick out. And you don't want me to get to that 11th one way my dick's in your mouth. And I'm going to say some things we're both going to be upset about. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, not even that. Like, I'm fine with that. But if I'm like, Working a job and I go into someone's house and they do that, I'm like, I would probably come across homophobic, not because of the slurs I'm going to yell, but because I would be like... Just so uncomfortable. Not even uncomfortable. I would fear that, like, 
Like I said, it feels like you're like, no. And then they're like, well, you're in my, you're in their fucking house. Right. Like, because like who's at my job, I don't have like, like I have to me. be here for my job. Like, yeah. And then I'm like, I'm down fixing the internet and you hit me over the head with a hammer. And now I, now you're now I'm holes getting... into my head to fuck. I should have just got my dick sucked. I why did just... it change? <laughs> when did it change? Why couldn't you I knock me out and suck my dick? Fuck in my face. And I'm like, I thought you were going to suck my dick. When's it my turn? Yeah. And, and then the like, dick soon. hits the... Yeah. And then the dick hits that front low. And you're just like apple butter, apple butter. And then I run outside, and the police catch me, and they're like, "Ew, gross! A gay guy, go back to your murder." You a gay guy, and then they shoot you. <laughs> um, but yeah, like that's what's crazy to me. Like that's such a gamble because I feel like someone could really freak out. There's like a lot of unpredictable things. Anytime that's the thing, you just yeah. offer to suck someone's dick out of the bo- the absolute you right. Know what I, I mean, because even if it was only me- prefaced with the question, when was the last time you got deep throated? Because uh, even okay, because even like best case scenario for me here, you know, I'm at CJ's. I've had a couple. I'm outside having a cigarette. Pretty woman comes up. When's the last time you got deep throated? I'm still like. This is gold. What the fuck is happening yeah, and I, here? Th- I, I feel like that if that were to happen, I'd be like, I'm being set up. I'm going to get my so, dick deep-throated, but then but I'm going to be I'm gonna be stabbed robbed. and robbed. Yeah, they're going to take my left wallet. Left for dead. But I got my left dick deep-throated. She doesn't even deep-throat it. They're stabbing you. And you're like, I thought she you said you were going to deep-throat She's just like doing that dick. stupid bitch shit where she's like, yeah, I'm like, there's she's too like much kissing hand. the head and like jerking it, but not even like spitting on yeah, it enough. Like using your last effort to try to push her head down a little bit and she's balking back like you wouldn't she's like it. really holding her neck and it's like oh geez you're used to this which sucks <laughs> <laughs> but yeah there's and there yeah there's so many things so yeah do you just like anyone who walks through the door you're just throwing it out there has well, it worked apparently before? the guy said he has a he said he has a fantasy with service workers yeah i don't happens. know i don't know the word like what he well, meant. Yeah, but, yeah, but like, like a, a, a repair guy yeah, comes into the, the house. Because it is like, that's it's like. like a porno set. Yeah, I think we all know. If it, yeah, if that was reverse. I'm here to and, fix the cable or I'm here to, yeah, I'm if, here to fix your plumbing. <laughs> yeah, if that would have been a girl offering that, that's like a lot of dudes like porn scenario. Oh, in so your for head, you, like per, okay, for you, you personally, to. if you were, if this was you in this situation, if it was a woman, would that have changed things for you? Yeah. <laughs> would you have let her? If I'm not in a relationship, yeah, hmm. probably. Interesting. Well, I would feel at the house, and I'd be like, I'd get my dick sucked like in a chair next to the door, like up against the wall. Somewhere you know what where I mean? you can like. Like, I'm not getting, I don't know. Like, I'm not going into her room. You know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. I'd be like, I'd at least be like, why don't you start never it out go, here? Never get led to a second location if they take you to a second location. Yep. Not, bef- not before the dick suck. At least let it happen a little bit. Once little my bit. dick's in a mouth, then I'm liable to do pretty much anything to continue it. I mean, yeah, once a second, the second someone even mentions putting my dick in their mouth, I'm pretty but, much yeah. willing to do whatever it takes to get to that point. Yeah, if I'm a, a handyman, I go to a woman's house, she offers it, I'll just put it on Facebook Live, because then if I die... um everyone will know how it happened and if not i just put me getting my dick sucked on facebook live hell yeah it's a boss move it'll be like wow i can't believe this happened yeah but did you ever get your dick sucked on facebook yeah. live or like yeah i don't really hang out with him anymore after he uploaded that video <laughs> of him getting his dick, dick sucked, sucked on, on facebook, facebook live, live. But he, say and, he kept shout- and he kept shouting he kept shouting i hope nobody's gonna murder me <laughs> i hope nobody murders me while i'm getting my dick sucked by on the facebook strange live. woman i just met on facebook live <laughs> www.facebook.com slash live people are like that's not even the how would that fast be finger slim has you? started a live video you're checking it out i'm like i'm getting some top from this stupid bitch i hope i don't <laughs> die <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i wonder what the scenario here is and you're like just real regular just real regular. i just was hoping i didn't die you i know? was just hoping That's i don't die i'm do. just getting my dick sucked and she's like don't worry i ain't gonna kill you yet and i'm, I'm like, like it's weird that you ah, you're it on camera bitch i hadn't brought it up initially i hadn't brought it up and now you're on camera i got you you bitch you're dead you bitch i'm gonna kill you <laughs> the tables have turned. i'll kill you first you fucking bitch <laughs> that's what they don't realize i'm getting my dick sucked but i'm gonna kill you before you can kill me yeah it's like that styles p line i think i've referenced before where he says shoot her, shoot your bitch in her head while she's halfway down my cock oh my yeah we yeah <laughs> I, you know i like to bring up fun topics <laughs> nice fun topic so yeah the uh, it's just like yeah i could not get over it i'm trying to think of what my other questions were mainly the deep throat thing because that's what I would I couldn't think it's of mainly possible... all about the throat is where my concern I couldn't is. think of a possible scenario where I could ask someone when was the last time you got deep throated unless it was prefaced with a heavy conversation about deep throat hmm. you know what I mean yeah because that's what you were the first person I thought of where I was like if we were just having normal conversation I just asked them when was the last time you got deep throated he would even be like what and <laughs> we're pretty 
Yeah, like we're, we're about as close anything. as it gets. Yeah, like I've said a lot of things. It's just so said a lot crazy. of things. <laughs> and yeah, and the other thing is the mom in the basement. Does she know? Yeah, is the mom like cool? Would with she this? be involved? Like, like, what's gonna happen if like the mom comes downstairs and you're blowing the repair? Like, has she run into this before? <laughs> like, I know. It's like, can you imagine your adult son living with you and you got to worry at twenty five? At twenty five, and you got to worry about him fucking any repair guy or somebody that comes Every into the house. Repair Every repair guy. <laughs> yeah, kids <laughs> constantly going outside and cutting the cable line so you can't watch your show so we can get the cable guy over here. Yeah, that's what I was like. Was they the keep internet sending a new guy out? Because... Was the internet even fucked up or? I think it was like a new installation. And he was like, it was. So it's nice that he hasn't uh, resorted to the, yeah, like purposely breaking things and be like, oops. Yet. Oops. Yet. Yeah, because I also feel like <clears throat> since it's such a crazy thing to do and say, I feel like we're only, you know, 10 denials away from him. Yeah, taking a service repairman hostage in the basement with the mother he's right because how many times he do you... shoots the mom he's fucking the service oh, guy fuck. against his will in front of the dead mom their cops swarm it's a hostage situation i mean how many times they got his dad on a megaphone dad's dead no dad's on a megaphone dad's not around why do you think he's acting like this yeah this is the you think if dad was around he'd be acting like this they reconnected dad went for a pack of cigarettes never came back dad told them go long through the foot to throw the football and he just kept letting them go just keep States. going. Just keep States going. separated. Never through the football. Might still be holding on to it. We'll never know. But yeah, there's like so many. I don't know. I'm just really caught up on it. I'm probably going to think about it a lot. It, it's not just because I'm so horny that I could. Get deep throated right now. I mean. I mean, I hate to be this guy about it, but when's the last time you've been deep throated? I said Tuesday, 1045 a.m. Ugh, I mean, it's been a minute for me. I think we could, you know, quid pro quo something over here. No, I'm good. I just had it. Oh. You, you're only supposed to be deep throated every four to six months, they say. I doubt that. I'd like to see those numbers. I'm not talking about just not slop. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> not slop in general. It can get sloppy. It just cannot get deep into the throat. It can even get into the throat. It just cannot get deep, deep into, into the, throat. the throat. I doubt that. I feel like I, there's some more science behind this that needs to get looked into. Deep into deep the throat. Into like the you throat. should be able to see it. And I'm not talking about throat fucking, and I'm not talking about face fucking. Listen, there's many steps to blowjobs, and one of them is you go to install internet, and a kid's like, "Let me, let me deep throat gag you. on your dick." And my one of the best parts is because I just keep bringing it up for hours. I'm enthralled by this story. We're talking about all the other events in the world, which some people would consider are bigger, but for me, I got to know more about this. Child, no, fuck. Oh, the son. No, you I keep it. trying fuck. to say, like, kid because I mean, like, this lady's kid. Like he's a young man. Yeah, this adult man trying to suck my friend's dick. And my friend, the one of the best parts is he, because I'm like, what did you, like, what do you even say to that? What is your reaction and to that? He's, he said he just basically was like, oh, no, thank you. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I trying mean, to be well, I mean you got to be professional like, about it, too. Because what yeah. do you do? Be be representing a company and be like, fuck no. What the fuck is wrong with you? Which I feel like a company should hold you down when you're like, he was trying to suck my dick. Honestly, God, if that Every happened time to me it, and like my company was, I feel like my company would be like, well, why didn't you just let him do it? It would have made the customer happy. Yeah. <laughs> if I you mean, let him deep throat you, you need to go above and beyond for the customer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my buddy's like. I basically like said no, and then it was just awkward because I still had to do the whole job, and then mm-hmm. I left, and it was whatever. And uh, he was like, "Yeah, the it was just it caught me so off guard. The first thing I thought of was I didn't even shower today." <laughs> and I was, and then I said, "If you had showered, would it have changed thing?" And it sinks, and he goes, "Yeah, I would have got my dick sucked." <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, that's great that that's what your mind goes to is like oh i can't give him the dirty penis can't give him a dirty and imagine you go to install c- cable or whatever in someone's house the, and you the go to adult dick ma- and he's got a dirty the, dick no the adult man's like when's the last time you got deep throated can i blow you you're like sure why not you pull it out he puts it deep into his throat and then he goes oh this tastes like shit and he just won't s- blow you anymore so now your hard, wet dick got to put in your service pants with your big workman <laughs> belt. They wear big pants. <laughs> big, dirty serviceman dick going into your big, dirty serviceman pants. And it's all wet. It's all wet and muggy. You've been crawling yeah. in crawl spaces all day. Yeah. You had to get under some lady's crawl space under her house and find all the kids or other kid murdered. 
And then you go to your next job and you're like, God, I would love some relief. And some guy goes, when's the last time you got deep throated? And then he does it, but just a little bit because it tastes so bad. It's so bad. And you can tell because he like pulls, because he like puts his dick in your mouth and then he like pulls it out. And then he like does that thing where you're like, and you're like, yeah. come on. You said you wanted to do it. Just fucking do it. It's like if you never sucked a dick before, it's you know it and tastes like, like no. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gay. Can you imagine? And you're like, wait, what? what? He's like, I don't know. It's just my fantasy. People have weird fantasies. The plot twist of the century. Not even gay. Just wants to suck a guy's dick. Yeah, a service worker's dick. He's super homophobic, actually. He's like, like really I hate homophobic. Gays. I just want to suck a service man's gay. dick. I'm not gay, and I'm like, you're not wrong. And then I produce my penis. A flop, and he sucks it, and I'm like, how was it? And he's like, really bad. I had a really, really bad <laughs> I had time. a really bad time. I'm like, oh, it tastes like shit, huh? And he's it like, tasted no. tasted like shit. I thought it tasted so. really good, and it's very it soft. Turns out sucking a dick just really feels like sucking a dick. Yeah, it turns out sucking a dick sucks. I think that might be where the term comes from. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks to suck this dick. But yeah, folks, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I, I feel like I'm clearly caught on it. It's derailed my thought process. I don't know why it's that crazy to me. I'll say it's all you can think about and talk about. <laughs> I know. I woke up today and I was like, I feel incredible. And I was like, Oh yeah, that guy tried to suck his dick. <laughs> that's the only thing carrying you. Your obtuse level yeah, that's of horniness in that story. Yeah, those two things have made me, and I'm really afraid of like a, um, a valley Heist. to this peak. <laughs> Of what? Heights. You're afraid of heights. I am afraid of and heights. Commit. I thought you said afraid of heists. And I'm like, I mean, We're I don't afraid of heists. want to be in a bank that's held up and then I mean, yeah, one I mean, by one they no, kill us. No, you don't us, want to be caught the in seventh. the middle of the heist when, you know, the guy is hacking and he hasn't hacked through the firewall yet. And he keeps screaming. He just needs another minute. He just needs more time. But then the cops are coming because they've already no, pressed I mean, the silent the alarm for the vault. Yeah, you're in the heist. Nice. Do you am like I the getaway heist? driver? Do you? Yes or no? Do you agree or disagree? I would make a fantastic getaway driver. Yeah, right. You would. like insane. Yeah. it might be my my true calling. I don't know what my role in a heist would be. I think you're the fall guy. Unfortunately, I'm the uh, well. Yeah, unfortunately, you're gonna be the bumbling, the bum big bumbling that idiot. gets caught so we can escape, so everybody else can get away. But and that I think in fall. itself is the greatest service. But then you guys put a lot of money in my commissary. Nope, never talked to you again. Oh, don't know you. Interesting. Wasn't there? Obviously, obviously, I've never even seen him before. And how could you miss them? That's what I say a lot. And then they chuckle and we're good to go. But I feel like I was driving, or, but I think because I don't really drive that much anymore because the world's a little wacky if you haven't. You have, you don't know. It's Everything's fine now. Did everything's you fine? We're all at uh, bars and restaurants and festivals. They start throwing con- concerts. Biden won the election and everything's everywhere. fine. I like, what, you walk around the block, a, a, a concert on each corner. It's like crazy. It's incredible. Uh, but yeah, we're fine. We're kissing. I'm spitting in people's mouths and assholes. In the street, I got my dick out. Not even a serviceman. Uh, so yeah, whenever you get back, I don't know. Hopefully, it's still like that. But uh, and the Turns weather has been incredible. Worse. The weather has been phenomenal. Yeah, I've been Freepier. opening my windows and sitting at the window and just breathing in the outside air as yeah. it comes in. It's been nice. And it smells like pussy, right? Cause smells everybody smells just... like a big jar of pussy somebody's left outside my I'm just window. I'm in the street eating, eating, eating pussy. pussy. Just eating even, so like, much pussy. You had to eat thing. so much pussy to get here. Yeah, I'm like partying at like most kill the like, ladies pussy. i have a 9 30 appointment ladies my pelvis is broken pussy. but my mouth works get over here okay i am gonna i don't even know i feel like we gotta cut off the whole last 10 <laughs> minutes just for that statement ladies and i'm illegally horny i feel like that joe budden tweet that was viral again <laughs> where he's like he's gonna make another I'm hole so horny i could make a new hole Jesus. lol, <laughs> like, LOL. <laughs> just because you added the lol, LOL doesn't, doesn't make, make it that better the craziest thing, thing anyone's was. ever said that's so about horny. a woman's body i want to make a new hole like that's the like that's what's holding you back <laughs> you know what i mean like, <laughs> the fact that there isn't a new hole, hole. The mouth and the pussy and the ass just ain't working for you anymore. Imagine telling a woman, like, I love you, and I love what we have, and I think when we get together and we bump these uglies, it's some of the best sex I've ever had. I like it so much, I would like to make a fourth hole on your body. It's like the fourth meal at Taco Bell, formally. Formally fourth meal when you can Formally still fourth potatoes. Formally fourth hole. Formally fourth hole? Ladies, if you're willing to Ladies. have... Where would you put the fourth hole? That's a good question. Armpit? <laughs> silence I know, I get... for, silence for 45 minutes but we're like you watch the video and it's very clear that we're really like i say i'm thinking because 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 my first thought was like 
and it's just a montage of us arguing and you're crying and I'm folding up your papers and like circling. You're pushing me out of the chair and, and it's just you kicking me around. Clearly pointing at my drawing and you're like, This is just already a vagina. You are you not for Oh so where with would you put a fourth hole? I said armpit. I don't love it, but I'm thinking above the pussy, but like right above the pussy. Like waistline? Yeah. I don't like that. I think belly button because it's already yeah. it feels simplest. Why not? Um, I've jokingly put my penis in a belly button, like uh, as much as you can, just the head. Yeah, and then and I came pee. immediately. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was so thing. tight. I was like, whoa. Or like under the boob, because boobs are fun. You fucking I feel a like a hole under a boob doesn't... I don't think it's going to be aesthetically pleasing. Does it look like a vagina or a butthole? <laughs> my brain screams <laughs> butthole. <laughs> <laughs> what it always does. <laughs> My it's brain only my brain says butthole. You talk, you're at Denny's and you're like, yeah, I'll take a boob over my. Hand. I'll take a I'll and take a boob. Just, I'll take a boob. I'll take a boob. I'll take a boobs over Miami. I mean a butthole over Miami. I mean a butthole where your boobs used to be. I mean. And you're, no, I just love the idea of you being like you're in a job interview and you're like, I mean, uh, over the next five years, I'd obviously like to uh, not just become a. A part of this company, where, but a essential. Where do you see yourself asset. in five years being so horny? I make enough. Ma- <laughs> where, do you see, where do you see yourself in five years so horny that I'm making a fourth hole? LOL. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they stamp the table, shake your hand. They're like, get this man the job right now. They're like, C- CEO, this CEO of the company. The ideas, the innovative technology that we need. It's the fourth hole. Where's it at? And you're like, under the boob. And they're like, ah, oh, just proud. It, you're, you're like, it's under the boob. It looks like a butthole. And everyone's like, what? And then they're like, butthole. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> and I'm like, should have said vagina. Should have said vagina. I'm the meeting go, honey. Bad. I said vagina. I said butthole. I should have said vagina. If- I told them about the fourth hole and they if started. If you would have bl- gave me those pictures of the butthole and vagina I made under your boobs, I could have sold the butthole better. But I, I just think butthole, butthole's associated with shit. I'm trying to re. Claim I'm trying to reclaim the butt. I'm trying to make it a, a good thing. Things go in. Things don't boob. always have to go out. It looks fine when there's not shit involved. It's Unfortunately, cool. the technology is not up to par, and there's still shit involved. So now women <laughs> shit out of their buttholes, oh, allegedly, no. and from under one of their boobs. Oh, no. Can I can't you imagine have ladies you op- shitting out of their chest. Can you imagine <laughs> going to use a porta john and you open it, and there's a lady inside pooping out of her say, chest? Imagine, like, you open up the door, and, and your beautiful wife is just <laughs> leaned over, like, open and holding Lifting a Breast. Holding a breast up and shit's just falling out from under her boob. This might be the most Dapper Dad thing we've ever talked about. Women say, shitting out, out of their, their boobs. boobs. How did it take 170 episodes? This is what we lost along the way. Yeah, this, this is, is why. But you know what? The podcast you know has what? We found end. it. We found we it because we're here. I feel like this should just be the last episode ever. Because how are we going to top shitting? How can we top shitting, shitting out of your boobs. boobs? It's perfect. It has everything. We one of our favorite things, and then one of our funniest things: poop and titties. It's perfect. I don't know where else I'd put a hole in a woman. But I feel like it would be weird for the insertion. Yeah, because you got to like stand. Have you titty fucked before? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Who among us has... I only did it once. I don't think you really need to keep coming back. Yeah, it's one of those things where like it's fun, but it's like... It's something to do. I did it when yeah when I was like 16. Straight titty Just, fucking somebody is like something you do once. But, yeah, like gay titty fucking But somebody. I'm going to say using your titties during a blowjob isn't the worst thing in the world one could do. Right, because the better thing's happening. That's what I mean. Like, right, Once yeah. you've tried it, it's kind of for shits and giggles. Yeah. And then after that, you're like, well, I never need to do that again because I can just do the other things that are better and actually, like, make sense. Right, yeah. Slide your dick in between two just big milky jugs is just, yeah, more fun and, and ridiculous. And granted, it feels good. Other things feel better. And, uh... Where were we going? Oh, yeah. So then to fuck under a boob feels very confusing. Yeah, that feels like... I feel like she... Oh, maybe she's on her knees. On a couple of phone books, mm. she lines up perfectly. Okay. She lifts that tit up. Okay. I jam it in hard. Jam. Because I did isn't... not uh, get her ready Don't for jam, it. jam, you jelly. It Does is. the under boob butthole get wet? Wow. You, there's sometimes in your life where you say, you say things that like... will never happen again. Yeah. And it's just a perfect. I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't. It doesn't get wet? No. Nah. So I spit in it or I lube it up? Lube it up. Mm. Like a gentleman. <laughs> Lubing up a butthole doesn't make you a gentleman. If you do it right, it does. Oh, what's the right way? What's the gentlemanly way to a lube up a butthole? Well, if you know, you know. <laughs> and I don't. Are we talking like I always think the large size Astro Glide 
in the butthole and squeeze. Yeah, and then you squeeze until it comes out. Of the butthole? Yes. And does it bubble back into the thing, or is it like that crazy spray, like when you have a shaken up two liter and you <laughs> pop the cap and it just starts I think we all know what the answer is. I think we all do, too. I don't even know why I asked. But there's only one way to know, ladies, if you've listened to this much of this episode, you know that you need to contact Slim for something that was horrible. We shouldn't bring <laughs> pussy it back juice, up. jars of pussy juice. Oh, that was the other thing. Is that it's lately felt like um I think things are in the Patreon and then I realized it was all just in this it's, it was all just a dream episode and then I uh inaccurately described the Patreon episode in the details because we all know traditionally I don't actually listen to it. And then I'm like, here's the things that happen in Patreon, and they don't happen at all. And I wonder if people are like, huh. Or I wonder if no one cares, because it seems like no one cares. 